what's up youtube fam this is nicole um welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber um if you're new thank you for tuning into this video make sure you hit the subscribe button um drop a like comment and make sure you look at my other videos my channel is all about home decor diys lifestyle and art so i'm taking you guys through my transformation of my first house, it, it was not a fixer upper, but just trying to make it more fits or more so fit my design style while I'm still trying to figure out what my design style is. <clears throat> I'm taking you guys through my journey as a homeowner, my DIY projects, um, my art and lifestyle. I'll throw in some business tips because I am an entrepreneur as well. So yeah, today's video is going to be some do's and do nots when it comes to painting in your home. More specifically, painting your banisters or stair rails in your house. So I'm actually sitting on my stairs right now. I also told you guys in my previous videos, sometimes I may be looking cute in the videos and sometimes I may be looking bunny. So my hair is not brushed. I just finished working out. But I wanted to make a quick video because I said I was going to be consistent in 2021 and post a video every Thursday and I missed last Thursday. Other than that, I've been doing great. So this week's video is posted on a Monday. Um, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this DIY project I've been doing in my house um, or I started because um, I've seen quite a few people on YouTube painting their um, the rails, these banisters in their house and just trying to get some tips before I started to see, you know, should I do this project myself? What are some tips to um, making sure I do it right, to making sure it lasts long, etc. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a detail. I'm going to show you guys a before, um, before and after if you will and I'll take you guys through um where I am now with this <laughs> with this process here we go okay guys so this is how the entire staircase looked before it was this um same color as my kitchen cabinets were before this like wooden oak oranges color um so it's like three three levels with these uh staircases so you'll see right here I started painting it white the paint is um, chipping. Um, from a distance, I'll show you a, a view and this from a distance. It doesn't look horrible. Um, and I need to clean these as well. That's one thing about having white in your house. You have to like clean it thoroughly. But I did a horrible job. Um, so some do's and do nots. I tried to use the liquid uh, sander for this project. That's going to be a no-no. Do not use liquid sanders. Use an actual um, sand block or sandpaper or one of those electric sanders because that is really important to make sure. It's something I learned since I started this project, but something that's really important to make sure that the paint actually sticks and doesn't chip. So that was a, a far back view I showed you. Um, so it doesn't look as bad like when people first come in or if people visit, they probably won't notice it as much unless they're paying um, super close attention to it. But yeah, all up, I mean, I didn't even finish. So you can see some parts where it's not um, painted like these little poles right here. Okay, guys, I'm back. So that was a, a quick glance of the staircase video. So it's clear that um, it was a fail, um, not to discourage anybody from, well, this video is not to discourage anybody at all from doing a DIY stair rail or banister remodel. Um, I think it's very possible. I think that one of my uh, downfalls was trying to rush it. Um, if you're doing it by yourself, allow time to allow a time span to finish the project. In my mind, I just wanted it done so bad and so fast that I rushed it. I tried to take the easy way out without actually sanding. Um, I also used the Nouveau paint from the kitchen cabinet. I had um, ended up having plenty left from that project. So I used the rest for the banisters, then I ended up ordering one more kit to, to finish off the, or so I thought finish off the banisters, but very time consuming project. So tip number, I don't know what tip we're on, but allow enough time. So don't rush the process. So yeah, let's go through the tips. Tips number one, 
allow, or tip number one, allow yourself enough time to start and finish the project. It may be a few days, it may be a week. Just map out your timing. Step two, properly sand the rails, okay? Something I didn't do, something that um, was a major, major downfall to this project. Just looking at these sterols, I'm cringing because it's frustrating. So this video is also to motivate and encourage you to, to know that you can still do your DIY projects because to be honest, I'm at a point right now where I don't know if I want to restart this project myself or hire someone to do it. Part of me is like hire someone, um, maybe like a month after I started this or after I did what I did so far, what I showed y'all, I actually had, um, my guy Jorge come out and tell me how much, like to do an estimate of how much it would cost. Cause initially what I wanted to do was have this part be black. So this was all that oak orange color, but I wanted these parts to be white. I wanted this part to be black. And of course the, like the thicker um, columns to be black as well. So I wanted to do a, a white and black theme. You guys know my kitchen is white and black. Um, my living room is for the most part white and black. So I was going for that. But once I got through the struggle of this, what I did so far, I was like, yeah, we going to stick with just white because I'm over it. But yeah, so tip number one, allow enough time to complete the project. You definitely need time to sand, time to, you know, put your primer on, time to, you know, Put your first coat on, let that dry, and your second coat on, let it dry. I was all over the place with this project, and I just want to let y'all know that if you're rushing a paint project, that's going to be a no no. So, tip number one, properly uh, find enough. Tip number one, <laughs> tip number one, allow enough time to start and finish your project. Don't overwhelm yourself by trying to knock it out in one or two days it's, it's impossible for real it is impossible and you want to have enough time to rejuvenate so because my I have like I said I have so many layers from the all, three floors of staircases left and right side and I didn't I try to do it in like two days and I just I think at least a week at minimum so allow enough time properly saying allow enough drying time in between your coats something I didn't do. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, it's dry enough. No, it wasn't completely dry. I totally should have, um, I totally should have let it completely dry. I'm just like rushing the process. Like, what are you rushing for? So, um, what else? I'm trying to think of any other tips that may help you guys if you're trying to do it. I know, um, a lot of people I've seen when they, when they got to, you know, if their staircase was already one color or if they got to the this part, this part right here for the second color, like a darker color. For example, if I want to still do black, they would use instead of paint, like a, a wood stain. So that's something to look into, something that I would definitely do if I ever restart this project or um, finish it off. So I need y'all help with this a little bit. So I got a quote from my guy to... Uh, pretty much redo all of this to do the white and black look that I want, but he would start it all over. And his price was $800. At the time, because because he's a like around the way type of handy dude, I thought it was gonna be much cheaper than his price quote. But now looking back on all of the stress that I went through, I'm like, I might wanna go with him. So he was charging $800, which today, in the present moment, I don't think that that's a lot of money to save me time, stress, <laughs> and all of that to, to do a poor job. So I want y'all to comment in the comments below. Hopefully you're still sticking with me. We're only like five minutes. Well, I don't know how many minutes we in, but hopefully you're still sticking with me. But leave a comment. I'm seriously going to be looking at y'all for comments and hope and advice to say, should I try this one more time? Go ahead and get either a sand block or an electric sander. I want the electric sander so that it's just like a little easier and time goes by a little faster, less manpower because all the arm work that goes into sanding is what I was trying to avoid by using the liquid sander. But that, sh that stuff is for the birds. Like don't even waste your time. Even with the kitchen cabinet paint, I told y'all um, I should have just sanded it properly. So I don't even know why they made the liquid sander. 
If you use a liquid sander and you feel like it's actually helpful, let me know in the comments below. Because I don't, at this point in my life, in my DIY projects, it's a no for me. So should I um, take another stab at it? Of course, I will record it and show y'all. Part of me feels like I can do it myself, but I don't know if, I, I don't want to get stressed out. That's That's really the thing. And I'm so impatient. I don't know if I want to allow enough time. So that's why I told y'all these steps, you know, allow enough time, be patient, sand properly, allow time for dry, for the coats to dry and use a proper primer. I personally probably won't do a, a all in one type of thing. I will use, if I did this again, I will use a proper primer, the, you know, the uh, paint, and then I will use a sealer to like seal it off because I just want to make sure if I do this again, that it's, it's professional looking. Um, and also I did not tape off. So that's another tip. Tape off the parts uh, that you don't want to get painted on. I thought, you know, I'm an artist, you know, I, like I said, I've seen, I've uh, posted a lot of my art videos. So I'm actually an artist. So I just was like, you know, I rely on my hand. I know my hand is steady. Um, so I know I can get the edges. Um, but I was relying on that and I should have properly taped off. Um, I should have properly taped off what I didn't want to paint because although it was white and white, it just would have looked more professional if I had done that. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should hire my dude to just do this for me, avoid all stress or take another stab at it. Um, myself so hard <laughs> my thing with diys is just like like 800 dollars isn't bad however when you feel like you can do it on your own it's like dang look how much i would probably be saving if i do it on my own so let me know in the comments below if you have a similar struggle what you think i should do because i would like to before the summer comes, have this project finished, whether I get somebody else to do it. And y'all, my hair is so terrible, but that's okay. That's okay. We raw, we raw. Um, but yeah, by the summertime, I want it to be, you know what I'm saying? I want this project, this staircase project to be done. Um, so yeah, let's recap. Let's recap. Top tips, hacks, do's, do nots, whatever you want to call it. Allow enough time, that's number one, for you to complete your project and don't rush it. That goes into all into one. Don't rush the process. My lips a little dry, face breaking out. This is the mask, y'all. All of this I never had thanks to COVID and the mask. Yeah, it's killing me. So step number one, allow proper time. Don't rush the process. Step number two, properly sand. The foundation is key. Properly sand your surface. Number three, try to stay away from, this is just a personal tip, try to stay away from that all-in-one, that Nouveau paint was like an all-in-one. I don't really trust that at this point. My, my stuff is chipping, it's not smooth. Stay away from that. Get you a proper primer, paint it, you know, do your first and second coat. Three if you need to, depending on the paint. But if you're gonna do that, make sure that you're allowing proper drying time in between your coats. Um, and then, oh, number four, tape off your surfaces because you'll have that clean especially if you're doing like a color that's not the color of your walls um a clean uh clean transition between the one color and the, the next so that's another tip um if y'all have any other questions about my process any other tips that i may have not covered or may have not thought about in recording this video let me let me know drop a comment Y'all, most of my videos, I might be stuttering a little bit because I'm not about to be setting up this whole studio and like editing out and recording multiple times. Not, it's just not that type of channel, at least not right now. This is more so me giving my honest and real feedback, my honest and real processes. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all real people and I want y'all to see what's really good and not like this fake stunted out stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. Oh, and I look forward to hearing your feedback in my comments. Should I try this staircase DIY one more time or should I just go ahead and hire a professional? 
looking for y'all so I can move on with my life. So need this done before the summer. Again, like, subscribe, comment. I will see y'all next week, hopefully on Thursday for my next video.